Yeah. Well, game week, man, finally here. Uh, just what are your emotions like right now? Yeah, I'm just taking one day at a time. I mean, watching film, you know, getting as much time in we can with the receivers with the offense. And, uh, you know, like I said, just taking it one practice at a time and getting as much film as we can, you know, watching film with the guys that um, are going to be playing Saturday and just trying to trying to get the upper hand on that. But super excited. Um, Hurts going to be close to a sellout, if not a sellout, so we're excited about that. Coach Kirkpatrick said that you were watching film pretty much all summer on these guys. Has it paid off now that you've seen their defense now for a week in practice? Yeah, um, it has. I mean, the, the goal on game day is to go out there and, and like you've seen it before, like you've played them before, um, and that's kind of what film is. And, um, yeah, I mean, I've been watching them forever now. I mean, during summer you have so much spare time. Um, so, I mean, I, I took that time to dive in NC State and watch as much as I could of them and then obviously meet with the coaches now and getting some extra time with them. So it's been good. You know, I got a good feel for them. But, I mean, obviously first game of the year, they can come out there and run something totally yeah. different. So uh, I'm sure they'll have some different looks for us. But um, we're an experienced group. We've, we've seen a lot of looks in our career. So it's just decided to go out there and compete with them. How much leash do you have to make changes if you if you do catch them and they're like, oh, I know what this is? Yeah. Do you have a yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I mean, this year is kind of one of the first, like, full year where I can kind of do that. Um, I mean, we're a lot of our plays, we're sending in multiple plays, and then based on the look, I'll call the, the play that we have. So, um, you know, I, I appreciate the coaches trust me in that and just got to go there and produce. And that's what a lot of the film, you know, watching film and seeing, you know, if I get this look, what is the weakness of it and just stuff like that. You know what ECU, NC State's all about. So yeah. how important is it? Maybe not to make it bigger than it is. Like it is just a football game that comes down to execution yeah. on game day. Yeah. Um, for me, I mean, we this team's played in big games before. I mean, we have we have a ton of experience coming back, so we've played in big games, and we know not to make it any bigger than it is. I mean, obviously it's an in-state school and it's a big game for us, but at the end of the day, it's just a win. Like it's one tick in the win or loss column. Hopefully, it's a win for us. But uh, I mean, I think last year proved we went out there to App State and made it a huge deal and ended up, you know, having a pretty good season after that. So um, we're just going to go out there. We feel like we can compete with them. Um, we think they're a really good team. We think we're a really good team. So excited to see the matchup. Did you play in the last game that these two schools Yeah, played? so in 2019, I played in 2018. I did not. I was hurt. So what do you remember from that? Yeah. They kicked our tail. Um, it's the program where it was at the time when we played them is not the program that it is now. Um, so we're excited to go out there and show that this program has changed and this program, the city has changed. Um, so excited to go out there and, and play them and kind of show them that. They just told us there's only about 2,000 seats left. Uh, you know, that yeah. says wonders about what you're just saying. Don't yeah, you? for sure. I mean, I think, you know, I came here in 2018. It was nowhere close to being sold out in any of the games. So I'm just excited to, to have fire football back. Um, I mean, I think, you know, we've worked really hard in this. Coach Houston and his staff and, you know, these seniors have worked really hard to get this program back to where it is. Now it's going to go out there and compete. And, um, you know, I mean, they're a national team now, so it's like to go compete with them. What, do you, any games from this rivalry that you attended as a kid kind of stick out, uh, you know, growing up here? Yeah, um, the pick with Damian Magazoo when he picked it in overtime when Russell Wilson was here, that was a pretty cool one. Um, I think it was 2016. I was at, I mean, I was at all of them, but probably the, the overtime win was pretty cool. I remember growing up. How much crossover for you? I asked the other guys, you know, Miles said he has a high school teammate and some other Greensboro guys. You're playing against guys that you probably know. You yeah. Know, this week, how, how was that, you know, leading up to the game? I yeah. Guess. I mean, you can't really think about that too much. I do know a bunch of those guys with me. They were in my final two, so I got recruited with a bunch of those guys, especially, I mean, they're, they're really senior heavy. Uh, fifth year heavy so a bunch of those guys I got recruited with and kind of have relationships with a bunch of them I played in the Strong Bowl with so I mean I know them all really well Devin their quarterback was my roommate and or one of my roommates in the Manning Passing Academy so I know them pretty well um, obviously I know Coach Jordan really well too so I mean there's a, a bunch of crossover there. You know all his weaknesses now don't you? <laughs> I don't know we'll see Saturday. <laughs> so a lot of times uh... I guess it's more of an NFL thing where they talk about when one quarterback matched up against another in the record. Yeah. Even though you're not on the same field as the uh, team at the, you know, you're all on the field at the same time, you kind of relish that going toe-to-toe -to -toe with another great quarterback. Like yeah, yourself. yeah. I mean, Devin's had a really good career. Um, obviously, he's get projected, you know, all over the place, and he has a lot of hype around him. So he's a good dude. Um, I mean, we're we're competitors, but at the end of the day, we are friends too. So, um, you know, wish him nothing but the best. Obviously, not Saturday, but, uh, you know, other than that, you know, I mean, he's a, he's a great dude and wish him the best. Sounds like Keith Mitchell will do some kick returns. So I know you won't yeah. be out there. Uh, but what, what it will be like watching that on the sideline, maybe to start a game or just throughout the year? Um, probably watching Chris Johnson when I was growing up. So I hope it's like that. I mean, that's what I'm expecting. So uh, he's as electric as anyone I've seen since Chris Johnson. So 
Um, I'm, I'm glad he's on my team. You said he got faster in the offseason. He did. He did. Faster? No, yeah, he did. He did. Um, hopefully you'll see a bunch of those runs Saturday. Yeah.